Hi guys, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 16 of my powerful tools of Affinity Photo. And this time I'll show you the tool that reduces red eye. I just want to make a note that it doesn't always work well, and it's the same in any app, doesn't, it's not just Affinity. So I'll also show you an alternative way if you think it doesn't work as well. So let's get started. So I'm going to pull up this first photo. Um, I had trouble finding red eye photos. I did do it in stock photos, but you should really use a photo that you've taken and or someone else has taken and there's red eyes in it. But I'm just going to get a close up of this one. And there we go. I'm going to go to the red eye tool. And it's and if you don't see this red eye tool, it's because it's really under the healing brush. So hold down the healing brush and go to red eye removal tool. And I'm going to get even more of a close up. Let's see. And all you need to do in this case is with the red eye tool selected, just make a square. Don't ask me why you don't make a round thing because it's red eye, but they made they they did a square and then just wait a second and let's see what happens. And I realize nothing is happening and why is nothing happening? Well, let's get off of that. It's because I didn't select the actual layer I'm working on. So let's get out of that. Let's go to the layer I want to work on and then do red eye. And here we go. We make the square and the red eye is gone. And one more time, we'll do it again. And the red eye is gone. So let me just pull out a little. So you can see it works pretty well in some instances. I'm going to give you another one. Turn that one off and turn this one on. And make sure I select that. Once again, red eye. And I'll just make a square around it and wait. And there it is. So let's go backwards. And you can see it worked pretty well there too. But then I found cases where it did not work as well. And I'm going to show you one way. I'm sure there's many ways, but I'm going to show you one way to get around it. So let's turn that one off. And let's pull this one in. And this one has red eyes here. And I did not like the way the red eye worked in this one. So let me get you in the center here. So I'll show you right here. If I use red eye, let's make sure I select that. If I use red eye, this is what it did. And I, did, I wasn't crazy about it. So I felt like in this case, it got really, really dark. And maybe, maybe that's good. Maybe that's normal. I'm not really sure. But then what I did was I said, let me go try... A different way and so what I did is I picked the uh, elliptical marquee tool and I made a selection around this eye like that and then I went to adjustments and curves and I chose red and then I started lowering the red and I kind of like that because I felt like I had more control than just taking away all the red because even brown eyes have some red in them like that. Now I don't know what her, her real color of her eyes is, but if I was going to do it, I would kind of go that way and then command or control D to deselect and compare this with, compare the two. I think this one right here on the right on your screen, it's her left eye, but the right on your screen looks much more realistic than I could have adjusted this even more if I wanted to. I could have lowered it even more than that. And in fact, because it's a curve adjustment, if I didn't like it, I can double click on it, go back to reds, and I have still much more control. I can change it. I can go a little bit less there and say that's good. And let me get you a close up. So I kind of like using that, but if you want a down and dirty, quick, way to remove red eye, you can use the red eye removal tool here. And one more thing, take a second and please hit that subscribe button because it really does help me to have Google put my videos up more often so other people can learn. And it also makes me realize that the more people who subscribe to me, the more they want the videos and I'll just keep creating them. So thank you very much and I hope you have a great day and be safe. Bye.